Hi guys, DevilTurxYZ, and we are continuing Final Fantasy VII, and we kind of did a lot in the, I guess the first part, almost like an hour and a half into it, but uh, yeah, we're in the Mako Reactor number 5, uh, setting up the bomb, trying to blow it up, and I guess continuing with that. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm kind of guessing I'm going to be doing mostly hour to hour and a half long sessions, mostly. I mean, I'm just still kind of seeing how it goes, but honestly, I'm kind of, uh, you know, like also testing out a little bit of the quality because, you know, there's really no point in me doing a full 1080p recording, you know, with this game since this is PlayStation 1. I mean, PlayStation 1 never even supported HDMI. Uh, I mean, even doing 720 seems a little over the top too, but uh, I'd rather do, I want at least something in HD, so I might as well just stick with the 720. I mean, otherwise I could have just go back to like 480. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> this way. Ooh, trapped. Shinra soldiers. Shit, what the hell's going on? Well, couldn't we go the other way? <laughs> a trap. <laughs> I gotta say, the footsteps are pretty loud. <laughs> Pres president Shinra? And the president of Shinra, Inc. <laughs> Why is the president here? Hmm. So you all must be that, uh, what, what was it? Avalanche. And don't y'all forget it. And you're President Shinra, huh? <laughs> A long time no see, president. Long time no see. Oh, you. You're the one who quit Soldier and joined Avalanche. I know you've be expo uh, been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Really, I kind of find it strange how would the president know Cloud personally? <laughs> I mean, for many reasons, really. <laughs> uh, tell me, traitor, what was your name? Cloud. Uh, forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember each person's name. <laughs> Unless you become another Sephiroth. <laughs> okay, you know, granted, maybe he, the president could have learned about Cloud maybe through news broadcasts or stuff like that. I mean, I could probably buy that, at the very least. Uh, yes, Sephiroth, he was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Uh, don't give a damn about none of that. This place is gonna... Going up with a big bang soon, serves you all right. <laughs> and such a waste of good fireworks, just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say, vermin? Y'all sh uh, Shinra the vermin, killing the planet, and that makes you, uh, that makes you king vermin, so shut up, jackass. <laughs> You're beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. A playmate, huh? What's that noise? The hell is this? Whoa. <laughs> Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. That sounds kind of gorish. Techno soldier? Now then, if you excuse me. Wait, President. Uh, here and out pretty fast. <laughs> Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. Help, Cloud. This is from Soldier? No way, it's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna bust him up. Oh, we are our second boss in the game, and of course now we actually get our boss theme. I think it was called Fighting Further or something like that. I'll, I'd like to call it that. <laughs> Although I say this is a very uh, somewhat easy boss, I guess, considering the way he's trapped in between us. I mean, we could just keep attacking the back. 
Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna put a potion on Barret. If I remember correctly, I think uh, Airbuster has 1,200 hit points. I think. I'm not 100% sure, honestly. Yeah, I need to throw in some potions. <laughs> Oh, big bomber. <laughs> oh, okay, forget that. Cloud needs something. Oh, I'm going to try to see if we can get him to turn around real quick. I'm going to try. Okay. Braver. Oh, good thing that missed. Yeah, that was <laughs> pretty quick. I mean, probably not the best placement for a boss, really. <laughs> I mean, just keep attacking the back for critical damage. Alright, got some good experience out of that. Got the Titan Mangle, too. But I said I do like the the boss theme though. Uh, actually, I think it was called the, "Those Who Fight Further." I think that was called because I know the original theme is "Those Who Fight," you know, for the regular battle theme. Uh, it's gonna blow. Let's go, Tifa. Barrett, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. You're <laughs> not even trying, Barrett. Cloud, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you're gonna be alright? You're gonna be alright? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just gonna be falling to my death. Uh, be strong. <laughs> uh, you worry about yourselves. I'm alright. But take care of Tifa. Alright. Sorry about all this. <laughs> Stop talking like this is the end. Alright then. Later. <laughs> Later. <laughs> so casual about that, Barrett. No. Free falling. Seriously, from that height, Cloud could be dead. You all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, you could get by with just skin knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by that time? What about now? Don't worry about me. You're just worried about yourself now. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking Cloud's just having a vague memory about his past. I'm kind of thinking maybe his mother. That's what I like to say. Uh, I'll take it slow, little by little. Hello? I know. <laughs> I was like having two discussions here. Hey, who are you? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, isn't this kind of ironic? I mean, if you ever play Crisis Core. You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. It suddenly fell on top of me. It really gave me a scare. Don't you mean you suddenly fell? <laughs> I came crashing down? Yeah, and you somehow survived. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. I guess. <laughs> flower bed? Is this yours? <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. Well, that's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. I mean, because it's a church. <laughs> uh, they say you can grow grass and flowers in Midgar. 
But for some reason, the flowers have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So we meet again. Wait, we do? <laughs> Come on, Cloud, think. Don't you remember me? Well, I mean, we just met, like, roughly an hour ago. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Uh, you were selling flowers. You were the slum drunk. Yeah, that's a good way to go. Oh, I'm so happy. And thanks for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any material? Do I have any material? What kind of question is that? <laughs> yes, some. <laughs> Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. Really, it's that easy to find materia. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Hmm. Good for nothing? You probably just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. I'm thinking she's referring to the white materia. Again, we'll get more into that very later in the game. Uh, say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again, right? Eh, I don't mind. Wait here, I've got it. I, I got to check my flowers. It'll just be a minute. I mean, I seriously doubt the flowers are that damaged from Cloud crashing into the, the church like that. <laughs> Just a little longer. Oh. Uh, now that you mention it. We don't know we, uh, we don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... My name is... Huh. Well, okay, I guess kind of goes with the thing I talked about back in Crisis Core, but... Um, in the Japanese version, her name is spelled Aerith, but it's pronounced Erisu. And... To make it easier for the Western audience, they decided just to change her name directly to Eris, you know, to make it more, to make the pronunciation sound the same. But I guess in either case, it's either Aerith or Eris, if you want to go by. Uh, I, I, hmm. You know, I think just for simplicity, I'm just gonna go by. Um, I'm just gonna go by the standard way and standard spelling in doing in Japan, the Japanese version. I mean, even though I'm going to call her Aerith, even though technically it's pronounced Eris, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to go by how to do it in Crisis Core, so why not? Uh, I'm Aerith, the flower girl, nice to meet you. The name's Cloud. Uh, me, I do a little bit of everything. I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. Yeah, I do whatever is needed. I do whatever is needed. Kind of show, kind of so nonchalant about that. Uh, what's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just, just what exactly? Hmm, who's this guy? Cloud, don't let it get to you. Huh? <laughs> don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me exactly? Uh, don't worry about me. <laughs> don't worry about me. It's kind of, uh... Well... Say, Cloud, have you been a bodyguard? Have I been ever been a bodyguard? <laughs> Again, kind of random questions to throw in. You do do everything right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I do do everything, apparently. <laughs> then uh, get me out of here. Take me home. Wait, what? Okay, I'll do it. But it'll cost you. Well then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? Kind of seems a little out of character for Cloud, really. Oh, I like this theme. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know who you are, but... You don't know me. I know you. Huh. Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, you Shinra spy. <laughs> Reno, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> yeah, Reno from the Turks. <laughs> uh, don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. <laughs> yeah, let's just run away. <laughs> Dex is back here. <laughs> uh, back there. Uh, I guess we're just running away from the battles. <laughs> They were Mako wise. Yeah, alright, back to work, back to work. Oh. And don't step on the flowers. <laughs> yeah, considering I just stepped on the flowers. Uh. Okay, so I guess at this point, just trying to get across. Oh. Battle theme. Actually, I should have probably checked out her stats. Yeah, so with Aerith, her weapon of choice is using staffs. Ooh, fire. <laughs> Alright, I'm... <laughs> I need to check her stats, but I'm pretty sure she's a lot weaker than Clown. I, actually, I don't even know what level she is. I'm guessing 5? 6? 6, yeah. Uh, let's check real quick. Uh, okay, well, first I'm gonna bring her out. Yeah. Uh, let's see, status. Wow, she is extremely weak in strength. Uh, <laughs> the only thing she has is she has slightly better spirits than Cloud. That's it. And also a better attack percentage, but... Hmm. And not too much, really. Just a little bit on, the, on defense, mostly. Uh, let's see... Weapon of choice, guard stick. Yeah. Got the bronze bangle. Actually, didn't I just get my hands on the titan? Yeah. Go with titan and I give her the iron bangle. Uh, I don't think I have any materia. Oh, no, I do, actually. Okay. Well, I gotta level both of them up, so, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't use the all since it's separate from the uh, restore. Yeah, I mean, unless you have the... Unless you have the uh, material linked up like this, there's no way you can actually use it. <laughs> uh, you know, you can use the support material. So, uh, limit break, healing wind is the only thing I have right now. Alright, I guess that's pretty much it. There they are, over there. <laughs> Oh, they caught us. Cloud, that one. I know, it looks like they aren't going to let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? Then there's only one thing left. Run away? <laughs> Aerith, this way. All right, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The ancient's getting away. Attack, attack. Oh, not good. Aerith. Think we killed them? They shouldn't have put up a fight, I say. Oh, help. Damn. <laughs> What's that? Uh... How about just run for right now? Alright. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can try to knock them down with if I... I just don't know which 
Which is the right barrel, though. Hold on. Oh, again. Uh, I don't. I don't think it can really run off. So I'm just gonna have to fight this one. I guess you gotta fight him. All right. <laughs> Well, I better fight off one than two, I guess. Well, actually, I might be even fighting the soldier, so it's kind of a little bit change. Oh man, Aerith doesn't have much for attack power. I mean, luckily these uh, guard hounds aren't really doing much damage. Tentacle. <laughs> Ew, that was a critical. Oh, good job, Aerith. Alright, I think she's good for right now. I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait up here for a minute. Cloud, help! <laughs> He's coming up the stairs. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, here's a barrel. If I can push it over, yeah, push it over. <laughs> hey, that worked. Thanks, Cloud. <laughs> Aerith, this way. <laughs> well, how would he know where to go? <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, there's the opening. Oh. Actually, that's very rare for me to get into a battle up here. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Alright, no, I'm gonna do... Attack this one with Cloud. Alright, not bad. Okay, uh, gotta get out of here. <laughs> Quick up the roof. I gotta say, the model looks. The model of the church is a little bit different compared to what was inside. But, you know, I mean, that's just graphical limitations. I mean, you can't make everything to scale, unfortunately. <laughs> They're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are an organizational. Organization in Shinra, they scout for possible candidates for soldier. Well, I mean, that's one of their jobs, anyway. Uh, this violently, I thought they were kidnapping someone. <laughs> They're also involved in a lot of dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. <laughs> they look like it. But, are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I must... Wait, I, I think they believe I have what it takes to be a soldier. Uh, maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. <laughs> really, can you actually see Aerith being a soldier? I mean, actually, I'm pretty sure someone could have done a, a fan art drawing of that. Wait, wait, I said. Well, she's not really fast, I can see that. <laughs> uh, slow down, don't leave me. Funny. I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. <laughs> hey, Cloud. Were you ever in soldier? 
Well, I mean, she can't really recognize the soldier outfit. Okay, well, granted, Cloud's soldier outfit has been modified, but still. Uh, it used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's the sign of those who have been infused with Mako. A mark of soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm the bodyguard now, right? Well, welcome to the slums. Well, I guess technically more of the slums. Phew, finally made it off. Now what? Yeah, my house is over here. Hurry before he comes. Well, I seriously doubt Reno could follow us this far. Oh, look, there's a safe spot. That's good. Uh, wait, over here or? Oh, Call them hole eaters now, huh? Oh, arrows, this limit break is about to... about to reach to the max. Ow. Uh... Okay, I guess I'd have to go this way. Over here, I believe, right? Uh, that guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he only answers, uh, and ah. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. This guy... <laughs> this guy are sick. Yeah. Proof reading at its finest. He passed it out nearby and... And someone must have helped him here. I mean, I, this was 97. This is when quality assurance was just a luxury. Ugh. Huh. He's not looking too good. Uh, this is the one. Won't you help him? Ugh. Ugh. Listen, I'm no doctor. No, I guess not. Hey, that man has a tattoo. I think it was the number two. Number two tattoo, huh? The tattoos are somewhat relevant later in the game. Let's see here. I don't care if it's a if it's scrap metal or material. We can get anything here in the slums. Got a lot of good material here. Why don't you look it over? Materia. Uh. Let's see. I would like to get another restore. Actually, maybe another one. And then, why not have fire? A couple of fires. Yeah. Do I need to sell anything? Uh, I could sell the bronze bangles. Oh, it's not going to really give me much. Yeah, so, uh, I guess for the time being, I can just level up my, another restore and fire. But the key thing you have to, the thing you have to keep in mind when it comes to equipping materials, the equip effects. I mean, mostly for, like, standard magic, your strength slightly decreases, but your magic increases. And then also your max hit points slightly take a dive, but you have a little bit more uh, max, your max MP though increases. I think it's actually worse when it comes to summons because you lose like 10% of your health when you equip any of them. Uh, we only trade items for Gil here. What kind of items? Ah, oh, just mundane stuff. 
not really gonna help me that much. If only I had the W item, you know, to perform that glitch, but that's not gonna be until way later in the game. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think if I remember correctly, there's a, a side quest that's technically going on, I think. Uh, Turtles Paradise News, number one. For a delicious wine with a nice ring to it, stop on by the Turtles Paradise. Yeah, I think that's the thing. If you check out these flyers, there are like six different flyers. If you check them out and then if you head to... I mean, this is later, but if you head to the uh, Wutai, you can actually get a special reward from one of the... Uh, one of the uh, servers, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Let's open the top drawer. Empty. Let's open the bottom drawer. Empty. Huh. I guess there's nothing inside. No one will find it. <laughs> the top one and the bottom one. Wait, what is he talking about? Hmm. There's a hidden drawer between, huh? It's five gil. Uh, let's take it. Receive five gil. More like I stole five gil. Oh, he's not gonna miss it. Let's see, over here... I'm guessing weapon shop. I, I can see guns right on the table in front of the kids, man. Uh, take care of yourself, it's the law of the slums, but to do that, first you need weapons, right? Uh, got really nothing but... Titan bangles. Or grenades. Really, grenades are not gonna really do much. I guess I can showcase one, but I'm going to get another Titan Bangle. Okay, uh, I'm going to equip Aerith with Titan Bangle. Because why not? Maybe also give her a fire. I see another Materia. And an item. Let's see. Ether. <laughs> Cover. Let's see. I can't really equip it. With, I can't really equip it, but cover protects allies when attacked. Uh, gives me a twenty percent chance of covering certain attacks. Ups my vitality. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the different materia, you know, you have the green, which is the standard magic. You got yellow, which is command, blue, which is support. Uh, purple, I guess they just call it independent, and of course the red is the summons. Uh, I'm home, mom. <laughs> yeah, this is Cloud, my bodyguard. <laughs> Unofficially. Bodyguard? You mean you were followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright. I had Cloud with me. Uh, thank you, Cloud. So, what are you gonna do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Tifa's bar. <laughs> you mean 7th Heaven? Is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girlfriend? Girlfriend? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, she's just a friend who happens to be a girl, that's all. Uh, you don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see, Sector 7. I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Uh, why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. <laughs> used to it? Well, don't know getting help from a girl. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by and listen after hearing you say something like that? Yeah, maybe not the right choice of words. 
Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. Yeah, well, let's just see what the mother has to say. Uh, but dear, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. Yeah. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Uh, Aerith, please go and make the bed. <laughs> yeah, well, Elmira is just one of those interesting parents. <laughs> That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah, rather I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but... Would you please leave here tonight without telling Aerith? Wait, what? It's kind of odd thing for her to tell me that. You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you better get some rest tonight. Right. Cloud. Good night. Huh. Oh, man. Yeah, this is gonna be awkward sneaking out. Seem pretty tired. Hmm. I haven't slept in a bed like this in a long time. Oh yeah. Ever since that time. Another flashback. <laughs> My, how you've grown. I bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend, one that'll take care of you. Uh, I think that would be the perfect type for you. That's kind of odd, really. I'm not interested. Hmm. That was a weird dream? Or was that a flashback? Uh, I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7's past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Uh, actually, is this an item? Yeah, potion. And Phoenix Down, that's good. The good thing it's right near me. <laughs> alright. Key thing is just trying to sneak by by just walking. Of course, don't get close to the door either. You get caught by Aerith. And she'll just tell you to go back to... Go back to your room or something. <laughs> right. Running away. What the hell? <laughs> You've a you're up bright and early? How the hell did she get here? We clearly left her behind in the house. Uh, how could I ask you to go along when I knew you uh, when I knew it would be dangerous? Are you done? Uh, you have to go through the slum in sector six to get to Tifa's seventh heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. Uh, well, I guess I had much of a choice. Or do I? No. Yeah. All right. So just. Following this broken path, I guess the, I guess if you want to call it that. <laughs> oh, battle! What am I facing this time? It's a giant house. Call it the Hell House. <laughs> Surprised I actually missed. I wonder if this thing could attack Aerith so I can get the limit break. Going for Cloud again. I mean, they're both about to hit their limit breaks. A good thing that smog attack missed. Ah. 
<laughs> Another Hell Bomber. Okay. Healing Wind, which heals all your allies. It's pretty much like having a restore all. Or I think it heals, uh, I think it does like a, I don't know, like a 20%, 20% heal or something like that. I don't know. I need to kind of look through the numbers for that. Ah, help for us. Braver. <laughs> Luna attack. Huh. Okay. Almost leveled up. <laughs> yeah, I'm also trying to see if we can get higher limit breaks. Um... If I remember how the limit breaks work is, uh, yeah, you got, you got four different levels. All together, technically seven limit breaks. But uh, to get the to get the first limit break on each set, because there are four sets, to get the first one, you have to. Uh, well, okay, like for instance, if I'm gonna try to get Cloud's second limit break after the first set, I have to get a certain number of kills. Uh, I had to use the, my limit my limit break a certain number of times on the on the. Uh, set one to get the second limit break in the set one but if i want to go to a set two limit break to get the first one i have to get a certain number of kills okay maybe i'm not explaining it too well but you know if we go to like guides and stuff it's more straightforward uh the gate to sector seven's in there thanks i guess this is a goodbye you're gonna be all right going home oh no what would i do with uh, whatever would i do isn't that what you want me to say uh <laughs> I guess she doesn't want to go. I guess I'll take her with me. <laughs> I could do that, but won't I be in your way? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean in the way? Uh, nothing. Uh, can we take a break? Break? We've only just been walking for like two minutes. Unless maybe time lapses a lot, you know, longer. I don't know. I can't believe it's still here. Cloud, over here. <laughs> okay, granted, we're on top of the slides. Not going through it, but we're on top of it. <laughs> uh, what rank were you? Rank? You know, in Soldier. Oh, I was... First class. <laughs> Strange whiteout. Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. Well, spoiler alerts, talking about Zack Fair. Uh, you were serious. No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, a tease. We could have probably known more about the character. Huh? Hey, back there. Tifa? You know, you could have just called out to her. That girl in the cart was Tifa? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. Hmm. Uh, wait. <laughs> I'll go on alone. You go home. Or not. Hmm. Actually, no, if I remember with the whole boyfriend thing with Aerith, like one of the early concepts was um, uh, Aerith's boyfriend was originally going to be Sephiroth, which that would have been a whole strange thing altogether. <laughs> But then again, maybe Sephiroth would have been a completely different character back then as well. I don't know. Well, welcome to the marketplace. Actually, is that what it's called? Uh, this place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So we've got to find Tifa fast. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, I called the wall market. So, what's up with this guy? Hey, you two. Why don't you get some rest? Hey, we have a beautiful room. How about it? <laughs> How about it? I guess it's another inn. <laughs> Welcome. It would be 10 gil per night. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, item? <laughs> Whoa! Broken. <laughs> yeah, about to get killed by a minigun. Since anyone could be in there, that's kind of very dangerous. Oh, yeah, look. Safe spot. Alright, uh... I'm gonna... Waste too much time. Let's just go straight up here. And I believe it's this place right here. Uh, this is Don Don Corneo's mansion. He's a big shot here in the Wall St Wall Market. Uh, listen, the Don's not interested in men, so just get the hell out of here. <laughs> Hmm. Actually, maybe I jumped a little too forward, actually. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this game. It's not like I have everything memorized. Granted, I think I've only beaten Final Fantasy VII like, I don't know, like six or seven times. The Honeybee Inn is a private club. Only members can go in. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> Welcome. Even unpopular dweebs like you may meet their destiny here. <laughs> You're looking for a girl, too? Uh, how about anyone named Tifa? <laughs> hey, you're pretty fast. Tifa's our newest girl. <laughs> but unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honeybee Inn, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Quinio's mansion. Uh, Don Cornelius is a famous. <laughs> uh, okay, the famous Dilton. Now he wants to settle down and is in the market for a bride. <laughs> Sounds like a real creep if you ask me. <laughs> oh, yeah, the honeybee inn, I remember. Well, yeah, okay, I'll explain more once we uh, get into that. Hey, and you got another Q1 with you. Hey, this looks like Don Cornelio's man Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell you. I'll tell Tifa about you. No, you can't. Why? You do know what kind of place kind of place this is, don't you? Then what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that would pretty that'd be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it will cause too much commotion. But I can't just let you go alone. Oh man! First, we need to find out if Tifa's all right. What's so funny, Earth? Cloud, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. What? Uh, just wait, I've got a cute friend I want to bring. Aerith, I can't. You are worried about Tifa, aren't you? Then come on, hurry. <laughs> oh, one of the most weirdest things in this game so far. Now I have to dress up like a girl. Guy, okay, no, I can only imagine how that would be in the remake. But you know what? Cloud has kind of one of those slightly boyish charms, I guess, that could pass for a, a woman. 
Uh, let's see. I have really no idea which store is which. If only they had actual names. I'm just saying here. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to get a dress. <laughs> um, it might take a little time. Will it be all right? Uh, what's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, has been in a slump lately. You see, he makes all the dresses. And where is your father? He's probably plastered at the bar. So you're saying we can't get a dress unless we do something about your father? Yes, I'm sorry. He's caused so much trouble. <laughs> uh, you help me bring him back. Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really, please help my crazy old dad. I just don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Alright, we'll do something. Let's go, Cloud. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of going from point A to point B. To point C, to point D. Yeah, it's a lot of stops I had to go through. Let's see. I think it's right here. Uh, actually, I think it's this guy right here, right? Yeah. Excuse us, uh, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. <laughs> Make me some clothes. Yeah, pretty direct, Cloud. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making anything right now. Cloud, you wait over there for a second. I'll try and talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? Uh, you know, mister, he always said he... He always said that just once he liked to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. Uh... What? A tough looking guy like that? So, how about it? Will you make him one? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes. <laughs> then, you do it for us? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress you want? Uh... Hmm. I know there's really a whole list of things you need to choose to get the... I don't know if I would call it the best scenario, but... Uh, I don't really remember on the top of my head, though. Uh, something that feels soft? Something that... And something that shimmers, I guess. Hmm. Got it. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. Hmm. Alright, so... I guess after that, just maybe head back to the... Head back to the clothing store. Hmm. Oh, you're here. It's ready. Go try it on. Receive key item silk dress. <laughs> this is gonna be insane. Uh, how do you put this on? Whoa, what are you doing? It's still not right. A wig, that's what you need. Okay, <laughs> kind of odd Aerith was peeking at Cloud. Kind of a little bit of a uh, little perv. Uh, I thought you might, I thought you might, so I talked to my friend about getting one. You know, the gym, you'll find a lot of people there like you. Uh, go, t <laughs> go and talk to them. Like you? Aerith, what did you tell him? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> Anyhow, we got a pretty dress. <laughs> Okay, so now we need a wig. Actually, there's a lot of things technically to add on to what we have. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Nope, I just can't make up my mind. Here, you take this. You won't be able to get in without it. Received key item members card. Okay, let's see here. 
hey, is that a member's card I see shining in your hot little hand? Please, come in. Uh, hmm, that's how you fooled them. <laughs> hmm, that's how you fooled them. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is kind of weird. Let's go. <laughs> oh, poo. Oh, I mean, sir, hurry. Yeah, so the Honeybee Inn, if I remember, is... Oh, I don't know how to really put this. Like a... I guess a, a place for meeting women? <laughs> okay, you know what? It, it's basically just a prostitute rink, I guess. But in the Japanese version, they had a lot more in, in the Honeybee Inn. I mean, there was a whole first floor. This is technically the second floor, right? Or I guess it's not going to tell me, but yeah, this is this is the second floor. And, um, yeah, I mean, you, you only get to choose rooms, pretty much. But in, in the first floor, there was, like, a whole gallery downstairs kind of showcasing girls in the courses, the best way to put that. And, of course, you got a guy who believes he has Tifa's underwear. <laughs> it's, like, so strange. Kind of makes me wish I did have the Japanese version, really, but... <laughs> uh, please choose a room. Gosh, she's so weird, but... Then again, they are all... They are all are, really? Oh, I don't know which room, really. The... What kind of room is this? Like, huh. Hold the ground. The group room. See, a lot of different rooms, apparently. The queen's room. Looks like this room is being used. Uh, let's listen, let's take a peek. Well, okay, let's just take a peek. Uh, what the heck am I watching? <laughs> the wind's calm now. As the curse of the resurrected Satan, our beloved queen does not awaken. What the heck is going on? The time is ripe. <laughs> A legend has been passed on through generations. Uh, shouldn't we stop him soon? Uh, we have a lunch on with the president, with President Shindra. Uh, you tell him. I can't tell him. Uh, come on. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, this is getting weird. The legend has been passed on through generations. I'm so disgusted with the president. It's like this every time we have a business trip to Midgar. We come all the way to Midgar just for this? What are you complaining about? You're just holding the lights. You've got to wear this heavy armor. <laughs> what is going on in this little place, man? I know, I know, but it's all, it's all part of the job. Oh yeah, did you hear the president's wife found out about this little hobby of his? Uh, no way, that's the first I've heard of it. Uh, looks uh, looks like he's done. Man, I'm glad. <laughs> done with what exactly? Jeez, Mr. President. I mean, your majesty. <laughs> uh, okay. This is getting weird for me. <laughs> Okay, choose a room. Any room. The lover's room. Yeah, why not? Let's take a peek in this room. Uh, huh. I'm kind of baffled also. How does a keyhole move this much? How do you actually move a keyhole to begin with, really? Uh, what's wrong, Grandpa? You keep sighing. Uh, you know, Grandma. <laughs> You're talking about this room? <laughs> uh, I know our son rented this for us and all, but it's too nice for us. Big round bed, gorgeous tub, I just can't get comfortable. <laughs> this is, yeah, kind of weird. 
Don't worry about it. It's a high-class neighborhood in the big city. <laughs> you keep complaining and we'll get in trouble. Okay, I just is starting to get weird. Or actually, it's starting to get weirder the more I do this. Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh, I guess this is the... Uh, I guess there's a little bit of change room here. Hmm. I just can't seem to lose weight. <laughs> Sir, you can't come in here. Ugh, you pervert. Uh, the door was unlocked, so... <laughs> oh god, here's another one of those guys. You know, the delicate type. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. I guess he doesn't realize his position. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. Just ignore him. <laughs> Alright, I think there's a reason for him doing this. Is he following me? Really? What if he follows me home? Okay, I think... Try to get an idea here. Hold on. Uh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Cloud, a jack of all trades. Oh, yeah, welcome, Cloud. <laughs> Gross, don't get carried away. Remember, <laughs> remember your name is Pooch. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think one of these girls is supposed to. Uh, What do you think about me? Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, I think... Hmm. Unless maybe that's later, I don't know. Because I think one of the girls is supposed to give you makeup, if I'm not mistaken. I think? Alright. Choose a room, any room. I'm gonna go with this one. The I have no idea of room. I guess I'll take this one. <laughs> uh, now you have to do is enter the room. You're not going to have to change a change of heart, are you? Uh, don't make me repeat myself. Oh, don't be angry with me. Jeez, this one's probably the violent type. All right, please. Huh. Yeah, this is different. Hmm. You. What are you doing in a place like this? That's what I want to ask you. Should you be fooling around here? You think problems will just go away just thinking about them? Ooh. Oh no. Help someone hurry. <laughs> you can't change anything by just sitting back and looking at it. Uh, what are you saying? It started moving. What has? Wake up. <laughs> Uh, I guess Cloud was in a uh, one of those little traumatic experiences again, or I guess a, a blackout, I should call it. Strange. Does it take this? Does it take this long to load up, or what? Oh, okay. Uh. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> Cloud's HP and MP restored. Wake up. What the hell? <laughs> Ooh, I'm so relieved. Okay. Moby, I heard you collapse. Uh, they get so tight. Huh? They say youth is so long but so short. 
Let's give the next one your best shot. Okay, this is this guy's starting to freak me out. Okay. I am so sorry there are a lot of adult things going on. For your inconvenience, please take this, okay? Receive key item, lingerie. Uh, what, this rag for me? I just don't get it. Hmm. Alright, uh, let me try to go back here one, get one more time. Uh, is something the matter? <laughs> Not yet. Not really. Huh. Hmm. If I were to dress up like a woman, then I got to really prepare carefully. <laughs> Seems like I could make I could put makeup here. Uh, yeah, having to put makeup on. I have a favor to ask you. Can you put makeup on me, too? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Too bad we can't actually see the makeup. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That's all I can all say. Oh, my. Alright, time to teleport to the front door. Because we're skipping the whole first floor. <laughs> hey, Cloud. Huh. <laughs> Actually, I think there was supposed to be dialogue as well, if I'm not mistaken, about how Cloud was in there for pleasure. Okay, I think there was something here, actually. So let's do a quick stay. I think. Or I guess not. I don't know. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure there was something here. Uh... Let's see. Oh, why don't you say something if you're standing there? Okay, what is this place? Oh, okay. Hmm, a lot of interesting things. All right. Uh, where is the... No, not a save. Where's the... I think it's here. I'm trying to remember most of this stuff. Welcome, say whatever you like. Sure. Yeah, that's it. Yes, what would you have? The Korean barbecue plate, sushi plate. Let's go with today's special. <laughs> One today's special. <laughs> Going up. In the store you pay first, it'll be 70 gil. 70 gil? That's kind of a lot. Thank you, just a second. There you go, enjoy. Hmm. It was alright. Uh, thank you, here's an item coupon for the pharmacy. You can exchange it for one item there. We're out of coupons, so we stopped giving them away. Watch for our next promotion. Huh. Okay, so the pharmacy, I believe it's over here. Hey, man, got a minute? I need to talk, man to man. Uh, what is it? Really? I really appreciate it. I'm sorry, but young lady, would you turn the other way for a second? Why? <laughs> Aerith. Gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. Uh, now, here's the thing. Do you know that vending machine in the inn? 
I'm itching to know what they're selling in it. I just can't ask a girl to go. I just can't ask a girl to go get it. Uh, what? Why don't I buy it myself? Well, to tell you the truth, I got in a fight with the guy at the inn and can't go there anymore. Come on, so how about it? Yeah, sure. I'm finished. <laughs> Uh, good luck. <laughs> uh, guy, move. All right. Okay, I think this is the pharmacy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have a coupon. Then please select any medicine you like. Uh, disinfectant, deodorant, digestive. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it's really disinfected, considered a, uh, I don't know, that's more of like something for, okay, well, anyway, <laughs> digestive. Alright, uh, let's try this again. He means this. Wait. Wait. What exactly am I buying? Something for 200 gil. Why exactly did I need to stay tonight? Couldn't I just go in and grab the... Grab whatever I need to out of the vending machine? Okay, back here again. I got it. <laughs> oh, really? Hey. Jeez. And what was it? A protein drink set? That jerk? I'm gonna do so much more business than him. His hill spin. <laughs> Uh, thanks, bud. I'm motivated now. Take this. It's not much. Uh, a diamond tiara. <laughs> yeah, you got all those diamond tiaras. <laughs> Alright. Uh, almost done. A couple more things. Go here real quick. And if I remember correctly, uh, hey, someone's in here. Don't look. Ugh. Yeah, give her the medicine. Uh, you really give me, uh, you really give me some. Thanks. <laughs> Ugh, I feel better now. This is for your kindness. Sexy cologne. Well, wouldn't that technically be perfume then? <laughs> if I'm trying to blend in as a woman. <laughs> All right, well, whatevs. Um, <laughs> uh, see, what is this place? Okay, yeah, the uh, oh, so many good things, but I can't buy them. Wait, I could technically. I guess I can sell a couple of Phoenix Downs. I'm not really going to need too many Phoenix Downs, to be honest. And one up. One of the ethers. Uh, let's see. Mithril Rod. Metal Knuckle. Mithril Armlet. Yeah. I'm going to get that cloud, actually. Oh yeah. Mithril Rod. Huh. Attack percentage is at 100. Oh good. Got that. So maybe I can do... Maybe I can... Uh, I don't know which one. This one? Yeah. Okay. 
We want to get some better equipment. Let's see. In here. <laughs> You're the one who wants to be cute. <laughs> uh, cute? Right. Uh, and about the wig? Yeah, I heard. But it'll cost you. Ugh. Big bro, the only way to the only way you're gonna get cuter is if you can beat Big Bro. I don't know how to respond to that. That's right. So you've got to compete with us. You're right. Let's do squats. All right, we'll beat you out of this gym. Are you the beautiful bro? What? You didn't know? Always running around here saying big bro, this, big bro, that. <laughs> Never mind that. Come over here. No, I'll explain the rules. <laughs> I think mean now I'll explain the rules. Uh, from the ready position, for square to squat, X to get up, and circle to go back to the ready position. <laughs> So it's square X circle in that order. <laughs> got it? Yeah, I got it. Whoever has the most squats after 30 seconds gets the wig. Alright. <laughs> I'm not going to lose. Big bro's wig is mine. <laughs> Just be quiet. <laughs> it's not fair for you to start right away, so you want some practice? Oh, I don't need practice. Now, let's begin the real thing. Start. Yeah, just going through the motions. Uh, he had 18 squats and you had 19. Wow, okay. You're really something. <laughs> okay, I'm a man of my word. Here you are. Wow, can't believe I barely won that. <laughs> it was with the blonde wig. I'm so mad. I'm so, so, so mad. Duh. Shut up. Don't cry just because you lost. Uh, bro's fists of steel cut to the bone. <laughs> okay. I think he's good. <laughs> yeah, the whole squatting thing, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, Zack. He always likes doing squats, too. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, really. I don't know if I did the perfect combination, but let's just wait and see. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm ready. Let's change. <laughs> hmm, not bad. This may be a new business for me. What, making, uh... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Should we try it? Uh, thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motivation back now, so the dress is on the house. Uh, walk more nicely like this, Miss Cloud. What do you mean, nicely? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, Miss Cloud. Ah, I want one. Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? Uh, how's this? How about that one? Father, what are you talking about? This one's much ni much better. No, what you're saying... Uh, what are you saying? This one... I want this one. Huh? I'm gonna go change. <laughs> no peeking. Hmm. So, how do I look? I guess nice. <laughs> oh, you're no fun. <laughs> well... <laughs> Finally became a girl. So I can really only imagine how this would be in the remake. 
I don't know, I could probably see Cloud dressed up as a girl, kind of naturally. <laughs> Well, the two girls are here. Damn, your friend's hot too. <laughs> come in, come in. <laughs> uh, two ladies coming through. <laughs> two ladies coming through. Uh, I don't know what to really spawn it by that. Hey, ladies. <laughs> I'll go and let the Don know you're here. Uh, wait here, don't go wandering around. Which means we are going to be doing that. Now's our chance. Let's find Tifa. Right. <laughs> Her without being a... Uh, a girl would be a... Kind of something. If I remember, I think Tifa's right here, right? Yo. What is this place? A dungeon? Or something kind of kinky. I'm gonna go with the kinkiness. Uh, Tifa? Uh, nice to meet you, I'm Aerith. Klaus told me a lot about you. Really, I really haven't said much. And you are... Hey, you're the one with Cloud in the park. Right, with Cloud. Oh. Uh, don't worry, we just met, it's nothing. Well, what do you mean? Don't worry about what? Uh, I think we got a, a little bit of a love triangle going on here. No, don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up together, nothing more. Oh, poor Cloud, having to stand here and listen to both of us call it nothing. Right, Cloud? Cloud? Yeah. Let me get that ether real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Tifa's so puzzled. Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? And what are you doing here? Forget that. What happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? <laughs> nope. I'm 100% fine. Hey, give me a chance to answer. <laughs> I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. I'm alright. Aerith helped me out. Oh, Aerith did. <laughs> Tifa, explain, why are you, what are you doing in a place like this? Yeah, um, um, I'll just plug my ears. <laughs> yeah, what is she doing in a place like this, really? I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Thanks, what happened? Uh, when we got back from this number five's reactor, there was a, there was this weird man. So Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when the Don's name popped up. Right, Don Corneo. Barrett told me to leave uh, the Letch alone. But something's been bothering me. I see, so you wanted to get the story straight from Corneo's mouth. So I made it, I made it here, but now I'm in a bind. <laughs> Cornelia is looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then... And... Well... <laughs> anyway, I have to be the girl or I'm out for tonight. Uh, sorry, but I overheard. <laughs> if you know the three girls... Uh, if you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? <laughs> I guess so, but... We have two right here. We have two here, right? <laughs> No, Aerith, I can't have you get involved. <laughs> oh, so it's alright for Tifa to be in danger? No, I don't want Tifa in... <laughs> Is it alright? I grew up in the slums, I used to be... I used... I'm used to danger. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you trust me? <laughs> yes, thanks, Miss Aerith. <laughs> uh, call me Aerith. <laughs> Hey. Sorry, we're wandering off. <laughs> it's time, ladies. The Don is waiting. <laughs> I told I told you not to wander around. I tell you women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? 
Uh, I probably don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? <laughs> You're right. There was no need <laughs> to ask. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. We have a Don to meet. The Don's waiting in his room. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, ladies. Line up in front of the Don. <laughs> well, I can see he's a creep. <laughs> a real creep. Hmm, good. Splendid. Now, let's see. Which girl should I choose? Hmm, hmm. This one? Cloud's trying to hide his face. Or this one. <laughs> Doing whatever he can to just hide himself. Woohoo, I made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... This healthy looking girl. <laughs> well, I... I guess I did a good job? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait a sec. I mean, uh, please wait a moment. Woohoo! <laughs> I love chickies who play hard to get. Yowza! <laughs> yeah, the other. Uh, you have the other ones. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well then, shall we go, my pretty? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be strange. Actually, I probably would be better off just losing this, because it would have been more natural. <laughs> yeah, so he thinks I'm an actually pretty girl, huh? It's just so strange. Uh, you're finally alone. Alright, pussycat, come to daddy. <laughs> oh, real creep. You're so cute, I never get tired of looking at you. Do you like me too? Uh, I'm gonna. Um. You don't like me? There, there isn't someone else. Uh, there, there isn't someone else, is there? <laughs> yes, his name's Barrett. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with this one. No, only you. You sure do know how to make a guy feel good. Then, uh, what do you want to do? I uh, don't really care. You don't like me? <laughs> ah, fine, I guess I have to go through the motions. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh man, I can't stand it. Alright then. Ugh. Give me a kiss. A kiss. Uh, nope, can't do that. <laughs> but why? Why? Because... Because I'm gonna have to use that mouth of yours to give me some information. Oh man, you tricked me! <laughs> Somebody get in here now! Unfortunately, no one will be coming to help. You're the one who- You're the ones from before, what the hell's going on? Shut up, we're asking the questions now. <laughs> What did your assistants find out? Uh, talk. If you don't tell us... I'll chop them off. Uh, no, not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. So talk. Uh, I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was, but that's, uh, that's what I was ordered to do. By who? No, if I tell you that, I'll be killed. Talk, if you don't tell us... I'll rip him off. Uh, it was Heidegger of Shinra. Heidegger, the head of the public safety maintenance. 
the head of the public safety maintenance. Uh, did you say the Shinra? Or are they up to talk? If you don't tell us... <laughs> I'll smash them. You're serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around here either, you know. Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called Avalanche and want to infiltrate their hideout. And they're really going to crush them, literally, by breaking the support holding up the plate above them. Break the support? <laughs> you know what's going to happen. The plate the play will go ping, <laughs> and everything's gonna go bam. I heard there are hideouts in the Sector 7 slums. I'm just glad it's not here in Sector 6. They're going to wipe out the Sector 7 slums? Cloud, uh, will you come with me to Sector 7? Yeah, of course, Tifa. Just a second. Shut up. <laughs> no, wait. It'll only take a second. How do you think scum like me feels when they babble on about the truth? Uh, they pretty much given up on life. They're sure... They're sure they win. They don't know what the hell's going on. Second option. Woohoo! Right! Oh! Trap floor. <laughs> Pretty sneaky, Don. Pretty sneaky. Oh, well, here is Heidegger. And I think that is supposed to be Reeve, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, how are the preparations going? <laughs> Smoothly, very smoothly. I've assigned the Turks to to this. President, are we really going to do this? Simply destroy a group of, with a, only a few members? What's the problem, Reeve? You want out? No. But as head of the Urban Development Department, I have been involved in the building and running of Midgard, that's why. Uh, Reeve, you should flush those personal problems in the morning. <laughs> and the mayor is against this anyway. Hmm. Mayor? He just sits in his in this building all day, feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Now, if you excuse me. To... Uh, you're tired. Why don't you take a couple of days off and go somewhere? <laughs> Actually, you might just do that. Uh, we'll destroy Sector 7 and report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll send in the rescue operation care of, of Shinra, Inc. <laughs> this is perfect. So, they're going to try to blame... A catastrophe on Avalanche. And I'm trying to make Shimmer the good guys, I guess. Oh, you're right. Man, this is terrible. Uh, you alright? Yeah. Well, the worst is over. Not quite. Maybe not. <laughs> Ooh, boss battle. Alright, this one is a little bit more tricky. I think. Apps. Oh, of course, Tifa doesn't have any materia. Sewer Tsunami. Uh, I'm not gonna... I really don't know. I'll just try ice. Uh, go. Beat Rush. Okay, how about fire? I don't know what would be a good... Oh, fire is actually pretty good. Alright, I guess I'll go with fire. Sewer Tsunami. 
Uh, I don't really know how many... You know, he also damages himself doing the sewer tsunami, so it's kind of odd. I don't know how many... how much hit points Apps has. I think it was 1600, maybe? Another sewer tsunami. Oh! Okay. Um, braver. Oh, actually, kind of seems a little unnecessary. <laughs> oh, I'll just do healing win anyway. I kind of forgot about uh, her uh, limit break. Seems like the only thing he really does is just sewer tsunamis. <laughs> but again, it's just strange why it damages him as well. I don't know if it's maybe a programming error or what. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, decent amount. Yeah. Even got a Phoenix down. It's too late. Marlene, Barrett, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? Yeah, you're right. We still have time. Well, that's kind of seemed out of character for Tifa. Just giving up right on the spot. Alright. No! I, I forgot they put materia on Tifa. Oh, okay. Another preemptive attack. Water gun. What is this, Pokemon? Well, I mean, Pokemon is an RPG game, so I wouldn't be surprised. Ow. Ah, oh, defense. Okay. That works pretty well. Oh man, seven more points than she would have leveled up. Anyway. Uh, metal Knuckle. Let's give her the Titan Bangle. Yeah, she needs some material. Restore. Oh, I don't know. Okay, how about... Uh, I give her fire. I guess maybe I just give cloud cover for the time being. I guess. I really don't use cover. <laughs> but I don't know. I might as well get some free points out of it. Ooh, steel. Okay. I'm going to give that to Tifa. And hopefully we'll turn out to be a mug eventually. Okay, let's jump down. Well, I'm hoping I'm nearing that save spot actually, because I could probably use a save. I haven't saved yet, and I don't want to backtrack. Okay, that's good. Uh, Aerith, I got you mixed up in all of this. Don't tell me to go home. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, if we can just get past the trains that are lit up, we should be able to get out of here. <laughs> really, I'm right in front of the stupid save. <laughs> Of course, I have to throw me into one more battle. <laughs> Actually, I'll try stealing. 
Actually, I think it's harder to steal enemies that are flying. Well, couldn't steal anything. It's not the same as nothing to steal. Might as well cure everyone. Yeah, of course, Cloud's about to level up, too. Alright. Yeah, need to call it. Alright. Of course, typically for a game like this, I like to do multiple saves. You know, I don't, I don't like to save everything on one file, but... I don't know, I usually like to break them up in between discs, but... Well, who knows. Alright, well, that's uh, all I'm going to do for right now. About roughly three hours into this game so far. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll pick up this game later. Well, this is Double Hunter XYZ, and until next time.